Hey everybody, it is coinpicker.us going over some of the exciting coins to buy today because we're on a rebound day. We got a major bit of down news, FUD if you want to call it, where the South Korea government was cracking down on some exchanges there and threatening them and threatening legislation and all that kind of stuff. I'm sure a lot of you who are following the cryptocurrency market closely know all about it. However, what I want to focus on today are what I call Jaguar decisions or Maserati or Porsche decisions. This is a beautiful car, isn't it? Actually, this may be a Maserati. I'm just checking out that hood, hood emblem there. What a stunner of a car. But in a, day, in a time like this, when the market is down dramatically, and let's take a look at coin market cap, and we'll see that it's just, a, just all red. I mean, for the most part, it's all red. Lots of red all over the place. There are a few coins that are up few projects that are up, but a lot of red. Now, some of them have bounced up significantly, like if we look at Augur. But by and large, generally speaking, the trend has been down. For the past, actually, a couple of weeks, we've had some bounce up or days. We've had some bounces up and down, but generally the trend has been down. And in fact, if we take a look at the total market cap, we're at 700 million when we were cresting 800 million. So we can look, if we look at a three month, which is a smoother chart, we were way up here, we're cresting down. I had mentioned in a previous video, I would not be surprised at all if we didn't hit what I would call the 20 day, maybe even 50 day moving average. Now the 50 day moving average would be a beating. Probably, I'm gonna guess, in this area. We would still have a bull, a bull market, a, a transition market, everything going to cryptos, but it would be a horrific loss. 20 days, not as bad. I would suspect we're not far from hitting the 20 days, which means we could have a little bit more downside. But I think we may start back building again. And what that means is when we're in a building phase, like a period from here all the way on up, it doesn't matter what you buy. Almost everything's going to go up. If you buy the certain project, it will go up higher. But by and large, almost everything will go up. When we're in phases like this, or perhaps like that, you have to be much more selective in terms of what you buy. Otherwise, you're gonna get caught in a general downtrend. Now, an interesting thing that I've noticed here, and I wanna share with everybody as a trading idea, is that generally, <clears throat> we'll go back into Bitcoin. Don't. My analysis is suggesting that Ethereum is a much stronger hold than Bitcoin, and Litecoin is also relatively stronger, but not as strong as Ethereum. That has been proven out to be the case over the past couple of trading sessions because Ethereum, as you can see, has had a much nicer spike and its drop is much more moderated relative to what's happened with Bitcoin. Obviously with Ripple, I can't stand Ripple. I want Ripple out of the market. I want Ripple gone. It is a centralized, corporate controlled, bankster currency. It's everything we don't want in the crypto space. But in order to make you money, my suggestion is don't hold in Bitcoin anymore. Hold in Ethereum, possibly Litecoin. Litecoin is much steadier. I think Litecoin is going to have a big jump up in the not too distant future, partly because Litecoin is going to be issuing its own debit card. That's, that's the story. It hasn't happened yet, but when it does happen, it will be impressive. And hopefully many of you invested in the Viewly pick that I talked about a while ago that almost nobody was talking about. And I think it's still up for the day. Oh, nice. So when I talked about it, it was in the 2.7, maybe 3 range. Any of you who bought it when I said to are sitting on 100%. Even in a downtrend market, you're sitting on a significant return. So I called that one. I didn't see anybody else talking about it. I'm very happy. I'm still an owner. I'm going to buy more. I think it's a fantastic opportunity. It's still in very few markets, although it did get listed. Oh, it got listed in OKX, which EX, which is a really good one, but it's got a lot of markets to go. Viewly has a long way up. It'll benefit all of us. So I wanted to go over that. My system, which I talk about all the time, coinpicker.us. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you like to hear my content and you're finding it useful and profitable as it has been. So subscribe to the channel first and then also sign up for getting the list of the top 10 coins. You fill out this form and you will be on the list. And I sent a bunch of information out. Top 10 moving coins. It's for people who want to buy in a coin and sell out relatively quickly. Because what I'm doing is I've got algorithms that go ahead and track all the coins. And I'm going to show you another system. But this is automatic, okay? This is more 
and it's much faster paced than a lot of other systems out there. There's really only one other company doing this as effectively as I know. I mean, uh, there are some other systems, but this one is, is a bit more automated, a bit faster. Lot of opportunity. Look at all those coins that are rising rapidly right now. All of those projects. Um, and against Ethereum too. Um, XLM, well, Ethereum versus XLM. So a lot of lot of opportunity still out there. Just to just to reinforce that, you can go to TradingView, which is a beautiful job. See how many strong buys there are where the where it's still well above the moving averages of the 50, 20, 50, and 200 day. So we're still technically in a great position. And the strong buy indicates that that trend is not in danger of being shut down anytime soon. So lots and lots of coins. For instance, Ethereum Classic, well, Ethereum Cash had a moonshot of a day, 700%. Sciacoin, I don't, I'm not that big of a, uh, of a fan of Sciacoin. I think it was a bit of a pump. Pivx, I do like. Digital Node is very nice. Prime coin is, gosh, that's an old one. Stellar, of course, is a, pop, a popular one. Digex DAO, not a huge fan of that one. In fact, I really question this strong buy on Digex DAO, but it, 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 it's done well over the long term. Let's see what else. Neo, wonderful. Zencash, yes. Databits. Some of them I'm not familiar with and I will not talk about. Pink coin is a trading coin, but it's a nice coin. It's a trading coin. Um, I, uh, Arc, wonderful project. EOS, obviously, but EOS is still largely vaporware. Arc is not. Emercoin, not a huge, huge fan of Emercoin, but it has been a very good run, has had a very good run of Augur. So just to show you that in the market, despite the fact that we are on somewhat of a downward trend, there are still Jaguar trades available for the people who are late to the market or the people who got crushed a little bit. Move, reshuffle your deck a little bit and optimize your trades for the new opportunity that is coming right now. We're still in an upward trending market. We're still going to have a lot of fortunes made and, and money to be changing hands. The my my system, the coin picker system is identifying lots of exceptionally good trades. Yeah, there it goes another go. Okay, we have some down we have some shifts in the downtrend. Let's see what they're doing on the uptrend. Uh, da, 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 da. Lunar, very good project. ADT, I don't know. I don't know some of these. Oh, yeah. In fact, it's interesting that my system, Digibyte right here. This, well, Byte, uh, what is that one? Byte, Digibyte. It's, it's, let, me, let me look it up here. I'll show it to you. Uh, it's a great project. I think it's Byte. Byte, that's what it is. Byte Ball Bytes. That's a very, because it has a very low supply. But it's an interesting, interesting project. And my system is indicating that it's on a bounce route back up. Let's see what's going on on a daily price. Yeah, it's getting a bit of a bounce back up. That's what my system is indicating. And, and I'm, my system is much faster than this, meaning this is on a daily notice. Mine's on a minute by 30 minute notice. So I'm, I'm picking it out what, what will show up on the day chart tomorrow, basically. So that's how you would use this. But hopefully you'll subscribe to the channel and then you'll sign up here. You'll get the notices and you'll be the first to jump on these coins so you can get a coin rise like this. Check this one out. Hold on to your seats. I don't know where it's at now. Okay, it's dropped a lot, but it was up at 765%. Moonshot territory. My system picks that out, identifies it right away while it's right here in that area. That's what the coin picker site does. So go ahead and sign up for that. Hopefully you've gotten some value out of this today, some good coins to pick up on, some places to find the information, some day trades to make if that's what you want to do, or buy in for the long term because I've confirmed that the long term trend is still in place. Although we may have a bit of a we may have a bit of a run down to the 20 day moving average and then I think we will continue to go back up. So this is coinpicker.us signing out and I will talk to all of you later.